Synthetic Turf Edging. Do you want to have an edge over your competition? Hello everyone, JW here. Today I'm going to speak about the importance of synthetic turf edging. Ask yourself, do you want to have an edge over your competition? The two most crucial steps in becoming a successful synthetic turf contractor are the perfection of seams and exterior edges. In fact, seams and exterior edges are the first things a homeowner complains about when they're done wrong. Exterior edging is a vital step in securing and beautifying your synthetic turf installation. There are many choices when it comes to placing the edge at the perimeter of your synthetic turf. The choices range from plastic, concrete, pavers, metal, and many more custom products that are available today. Whatever choice you make, the synthetic turf must be installed at proper elevations to the edge to complete the beauty of the project. There is nothing worse than placing a quality turf and sabotaging its beauty by poorly constructed edging. If synthetic turf and its base materials are not contained and secured properly, the integrity of the base materials and subgrade soils will erode, allowing the edge of the synthetic turf to sink, leaving depressions. This will also allow the exterior nails, spikes, and staples to come loose, which can be costly to repair. Plastic Composite Lumber over the decades, plastic composite lumber edging has become a favorite for synthetic turf contractors. It is fast, economical, and when installed correctly, it lasts for years to come. And it also could be bent and curved to create any type of style and smooth radiuses. Poured in place concrete. Poured in place concrete curbing is another choice that is extremely durable and can last for decades. Contractors are now color stamping this concrete surface to simulate natural stone and there are different types of patterns and many colors to choose from. Concrete pavers. Concrete pavers work great as edging to contain synthetic turf. Pavers are also manufactured in different colors, shapes, and sizes. Here's one tip about installing pavers for synthetic turf. You must be aware that when concrete pavers are installed, most paver installers will lock in the exterior paver edge with port in place concrete or mortar. If this concrete or mortar gets past the edge, you will not be able to place the embeds, nails, or staples to secure the synthetic turf. I recommend communicating with the team and ensure that you allow room for the embeds to be driven to secure the turf. Metal edging. You can never go wrong with metal edging. It is strong, flexible, and withstands thermal contraction and expansion in very harsh climates. I do not recommend using metal edging in play areas due to the edge possibly being a little bit sharp if someone fell on it. Wonder Edge. Wonder Edge is another plastic composite edge material on the market today that was designed specifically for synthetic turf edging. When installing Wonder Edge, I recommend grading the base materials past the edge line. This will allow for a flat surface for the Wonder Edge to lay on when securing. Once in place, secure with 40D or 50D nails. When secure, simply nail the turf to the Wonder Edge base and then tuck the turf into the Wonder Edge cantilever. Vert Edge. Vert Edge is another plastic composite edging that hit the market and again, specifically designed for synthetic turf. This edge creates a really nice bullnose look, which looks really sweet when completed. Like I mentioned earlier, Seams and exterior edges are the first thing a homeowner complains about when done wrong. So ask yourself, do you want to have an edge over your competition? Until next time, JW out.